Yeah! We made it! How long have we been holding our breath under there, anyway? Ten minutes. I'm not sure, but I pulled Ten something minutes. out. Yeah. <laughs> Ten minutes, but it felt, it felt more what like the hell? weeks. Anyway, okay. hey, bye. Oh, hi. Hello, bye. Hello, bye. I am here after a long absence. What the hell's been going on? <laughs> We so many have, things. We have ah, been okay. doing underwater they... adventures. <laughs> oh, Sora's Domain. Sora's Domain. Yes. Ooh. Yes, did it we is. we already seen the uh, King Zoro or we did his little, um, Ewe? I don't think Ewe. we have yet. In Not fact, yet. I, we, in fact, we, we did. Just got the letter. We just got the letter in the last part. Ah, so okay. you'll, get, now so you'll get to see it firsthand. Yes! And now and, we'll be able to request an audience. Zora, so. nice. I do? Oh, yeah, you oh, do. Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> and I get to, we get to oh, request no. an audience with him. There he is. There we go. Ye old testicle lord is here. <laughs> and we just oh, present Lord. to him his letter. Who this letter is from Princess Rudo. Let's see. No, I forgot I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that! Our guardian god, Lord Joppa Joppa, would never eat my dear Princess Wudo. Since that stranger Ganondorf came here, Lord Joppa Joppa was a little green around the gills. Oh, now the gym's oh. clear. Of course you'll go find Wudo. You can pass through here to the altar of Lord Joppa Joppa. I'll give this letter, you know, as insurance. The job <laughs> is completed. Please find my dear Princess Wudo immediately. I'm sorry, sir. What you say? the scooter. I, I find it cute how hard you're trying to try do to your, do a Smee impression. <laughs> because listen to this guy. Well, once he's through with his uh, sin. No, let me listen to this voice. Yeah, listen. Uh, this, you know, she's been sitting up here for all these twenty years. You really done. Even today, it still feels good on my bottom. Don't th <laughs> don't uh, don't think too hard big about how. Big boy's I got to go. <laughs> Okay. Ooh, okay. Well, that was quick. Okay. Yeah. All right. We'll see you later. We'll see you later. And that was and that was and that was our two minute cameo with Pi. <laughs> Tuesdays at three o'clock. No, anyway. Uh, also, <laughs> I've been. Yeah, because yeah. there's one other. Uh, I need to grab for some rupees. And the other, and yes, because you can't do this over and over again for rupees. And the last, and the, and the joke I was going to make before that all happened was, um, please don't think about how geographically all of Hyrule's drinking water must pass underneath my royal posterior. Yeah. Uh, the internet's already done a bang up job. This is the of source that, of all the water, Silly, including the no, water in Lake Hylia. No, it, it's not. Then where no, does this water come from? It's coming from Zora's Fountain, and then there's a gate in Zora's Fountain where the rest of the water goes to. And it's and it all passes underneath his butt before it comes no, to it here. No, it doesn't. And then it passes into no, a tunnel into Zora River and into Lake Hylia. Not all of it passes under him, Logan. Oh my well, then, goodness! Well, 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 then we're Don't be sound cute when they argue. Well, well, and that's the it's case. It's so obvious, you guys. But, You'll see it when you get up there. But but Seely, what if if that's, if that's not the case then? Where does all that water that passes through his fishy bum go to? Right here, where we're sitting. Oh, this isn't this isn't. So it I guess it. You know what? In essence, I feel all the more disturbed. Well, I mean, because okay, I'm just saying, like, because I'm trying to like, I'm tr I'm trying to trace it down, you know, because like, so it okay it passes under his bum, then it pools up here, then if you follow down, it goes to a waterfall, which is where we did the diving mini game. Right. From there, and it doesn't it, go anywhere else. And then there's a tunnel that you can swim and dive under, which leads directly into Lake Hylia, and Hylia. then like Hylia, and then that same see, pond look, also see, sends here. off to the Zor River. See, look, there's a gate right there. Okay, so there's diverted flow, but okay, there is at least a 30 to 35 percent of Lake Halia water that is King Rudo butt water, and I don't like King that. King Rudo. <laughs> King oh. Zora butt water. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Rudo very... could be a king if she wanted oh, to be. No, 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 no. Think of it this way: What if he's able to retract his junk? I mean. I don't how think did we get into this conversation? I don't know how we got to this conversation. We're going to shift tree. Around. That is well, a nice this. tree. I just nice. tried to come up with an explanation. All we're doing, all we've been doing this this past out uh, this past time is trying to uh, pr pretty much trying to um, what's the word? Try trying to just prove the whole the common theory of where highly highly water supply comes from. Yeah, that did happen. Look at that oh, yeah, boulder. That is a nice boulder. Here's the person Pi was and supposed to And Link's about to destroy said boulder. It's okay. One of us can oh. take over, and she'll do the rest. That was a lot um, more than just that boulder. Well, yeah. I'll do it. 
All right. And also, and also, as you're about to see via the power of executive authority and authoritative command, the fact that no, all our big cast lists and things, we really don't. They're more suggestions. They're not requirements. <laughs> Yeah, because because a, a good that's true. Fifty well, percent of it is just regular NPCs. You only talk to like your hand grand total of once, like and it doesn't like, affect and I'm, like good right. old bodacious here. And I don't <laughs> and I don't think it detracts away too much if we ever deviate from it. Sometimes like this, oh, the source material is still I'm getting across. Yep. Yes, I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. That is baller. I like that bit of aggression at the end. It's like, please take it. Just take it already. Take it. Take it and, and take it and never disturb my my personal bath time ever again. This is the spell oh, yeah, of true. courage. I mean, to run, run away. Wrong. Warp when you are in danger. The courageous spell of running. away. The courageous away. spell that allows you to eat the fuck out of whatever dungeon you're currently at. Yeah. Well, not exactly. You can only you can only use it within dungeons. Well, that's what I said. We eat, would eat yourself out of, out of out of whatever dungeon you're in at the time. However, there is a nice Remember, little perk. You can use Fairy's only in dungeons that have a dungeon map hidden inside, okay? And there is a perk, which is that uh, whenever you use it, uh, you can, it then also creates like a save point that allows you to, that you can then warp melee back to. So, actually... Although, the unfortunate part about that is that if you save your game and quit, that goes away. Uh, so ah. it, it, it's, it's literally a quick save feature. Dang. Yeah. Well, okay. Actually, not even not even so much a quick quick save feature because with quick save, technically, you just go back to the title screen and it, it just serves as like a semi save for if you come back here. It's more so a case of like a, uh, it's more like a yeah. temporary reprieve. Although one one thing that I found out a few years ago that you can do is that's really cool is that you can warp between temples. Oh really? For yeah, like you, whatever reason like you need you, to. Like for example, if I were to cast it in the deco tree. I'd go inside here and cast it. I could go back oh. to the deck tree. Look at the okay. size of that big, big boy. Look at his lips. Mm, and I'm the down big lips. <laughs> I can't tell what kind of fish. I thought he was a shark, but I don't think he's a shark. It's hard to tell what kind of fish he is, but either way, it's time time for his din dins. Here you go. I'm down. Eat up. Hey, should we move? I don't think we need to worry about that. Unless... Yeah, I think we maybe should have... Okay, so yeah, I think that. maybe oh. we should have moved from being in front of the plane. This is the point! Well, we need to go inside here anyway, so why not just let the let it take us where it needs Ape to go? Ape Escape did this first. Did it? Actually, uh, no, it didn't. This did, this did. This came up before Ape Escape. Oh. Uh. By, by about a whole year, actually. Imagine if this came out on Switch with updated graphics. Ooh, I mean, geez. they have the I mean, they have the game they could easily port. I forget. See, yeah. were you with us for that one two-week part where we went inside that one fish fish's body? Oh, that's, that's a lot. Yes, oh. that, yes, that's what I was referencing. That was terrifying. The, it was the, much worse than what you're seeing here. It was veiny and like. Yeah. Tender. At least with the veins here, they're flat. There, it was, like, bloody. It's well, flat and, and very faint, but, yeah. Anyway, welcome to Jabu, inside Jabu, Jabu's belly. Probably one of the last places you'd ever think of to set up a no. Zelda dungeon. You absolutely have to defeat those jellyfish and don't touch them directly. Really? Mm. Otherwise, if you just if you just cut them willy-nilly, they will shock you. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. They, they, they sting to the touch. Duly noted. And then, uh... What is the, what is with this? There Hello. you are, Bruno. Good grief, she's naked. No, it's just her <laughs> you. Species. Who are you? I am Bruno, Princess of the Zoras. What? Yeah. Are you saying my father asked you to come here to save me? <laughs> I'd never ask anyone to do such a thing. Boy, what a loud mouth! Letter in a bottle. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. My father is worried about me. Huh? I don't care. Anyways. I can't get home right now, and you get out of here. Understand? She's I'm totally going this way. Wait, uh, Ruto. No. Uh, -oh. uh, now just asking real quick. She's totally being like super proud and stuff, right? Like she absolutely did leave that note. Are you still hanging around here? I told you to go away. I'm okay. I've been going inside Lord Jabba Jabba's belly since I was little, but Lord Jabba Jabba was very strange today. Uh, there are electrified the jellyfish and strange holes around. On top of that, my precious stone was... 
but that's none of your business. Anyway, okay. you, go home now. Understand? No. No. You're that worry worried about, about me? You. Then I will give you the honor of carrying me. What? However, I won't leave until I find the thing I'm looking for. You better believe me. So yeah, for the sake of this dungeon, she serves as our as our makeshift uh, uh paperweight. Oh, I hate this stage. Aww. She is such a spoiled brat. So, it, she so, is. So, so I should ask, did she? Oh, by the actually... way, you can you can use her as a projectile if you want. Yeah, oh hey, you can. I was saying, so did she actually leave the note, or was that a forgery from Ganondorf? No, she, in order no, to she left the note. No, no, she actually did leave the note. Okay. Careful. Though I guess at the same time, she might have had I a... don't know why she denies it, though. To be fair, she might have had a change of heart between then and now. I mean, given yeah. her spoiled nature. And I was gonna say, my and again, my theory was that maybe it was just because she, uh... Again, she was just too oh. proud to admit she needed help. Actually, there Probably. was also the matter of the fact we did... <laughs> There's also the matter of fact we did effectively essentially tell her that we we came the, here by order of her father, so that probably uh, mess, probably spoiled whatever opinion she had of you. That's but true. Bunkies. Ow. That's yeah, bubbles hurt in this in this dungeon if it wasn't immediately clear. They're actually called shabombs. Shabom. They have a name. Shabombs because like Logan, you know how you and I watched. A so Logan and I, we watched Sailor Moon together. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, when Sailor Mercury does her bubble spray attack, she goes, Shabba Spray! So they're just bubbles. So, so yeah, so it's pretty much the Japanese pronunciation for bubbles. So either, so uh. whatever the case, they're just bubbles. So what are yep. bubbles called? Uh. <laughs> uh. The fire bubbles. Oh, they're just, they're literally called bubbles. So bubbles. Oh, yeah. You see where this starts to get confusing between different languages. A bit, yeah. They're acid bubbles. It's part let's of the also, digestive system. Let's also remember this is the same. This is the same universe, where or the same timeline where uh, bats are called keys and snakes are called ropes. Oh yeah, except there are no ropes in this. Game. Yeah, yeah. I, I, honestly, ropes haven't really been the thing since like the since the older Zelda titles. And Link Between Worlds. They, they were in the 2D Zelda titles, though. Yeah, like, I, I think they were still in A Link Between Worlds and uh, Link's, Aw Link's Awakening DX, but, but otherwise... I I don't think they appeared in any of the 3D Zelda games. Well, to be fair, snakes aren't really that, that intimidating in a 3D space. Assuming you, unless you make them, like, really... What are, <laughs> what are, are you quick complaining? What are you so, what are you so shocked about? Goodness me. I'm she on his she shoulders, she and it's so boring! Up here. I mean, I mean, she wasn't stretching. She was complaining. She was going. Ugh, ugh. Yeah, that's pretty much yeah, what she was. What she be doing. Also, thank God I got my voice back because I had a cold for the last week. Oh, oh my God, it was so annoying. That sucks. Now then, time for time to, for her to fill her role. It doesn't look weight. like you could press it down with your weight alone, Nico. <laughs> you were saying. Hint, seen. hint. You, you actually have to have Rudo on your on your shoulders to press that switch. Uh, yeah, okay. double the weight, double the fun. <laughs> and then what was I thinking? Yeah, we mentioned that. Uh, yeah. Hello. Oh. Now I remember. I was going to then ask. So, ultimately... Okay. okay. Uh, real quick, I just want to say, in case uh -huh. you wondered, those things are called stingers. These little well, they stingers. Do look like, sting like stinger rays. Yeah. And I was going to say, um, I know that... Plenty of people would probably be okay if they ported Ocarina of Time 3DS to Switch, but mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't what... mind that. I do think that I if, if they did, they'd have to they'd have to uh, touch up the graphics a fair bit. Oh yeah, no, mm. I don't I don't know. They're adding Jedi Academy and freaking uh, the Jedi like to be racer fair, thing. Those are like they the very... those. To be fair, those are like the very original titles. They're not they're not really doing anything to those. The games boomerang. Hey, hey, you got the boomerang. Which but, uh, is yeah. only, re which unfortunately for this game is only really useful in this dungeon. Oh, well, and maybe a few, and a, f and a few rare uh, puzzles otherwise. I was gonna say it's useful in Spirit Temple too for the youngling portion. Well, okay, yeah. I, I, the point is, it's not. It's it's honestly one of the we weapons you'll use the least in this game compared to most others. Like, actually, that's the funny thing about the boomerang, as far as Zelda's concerned. They're either the most shallow, the most shallow weapon you have in your inventory, or they're the most game-breaking thing ever, like in Link's Awakening. That too, but I hate, I just gotta say I hate these guys are called parasite parasitic tentacles. I hate these guys. And, oh, oh yeah. And but yeah, yeah for, and then yeah, for me in the case of the boomerang, I guess I kind of is like 
It's fun now, but yeah, as James is referring to, one of the major uh, cruxes of them as a weapon is that you get them so late in the game, or you, you get them so late into Young Link's thing, and Young Link is the only person who knows how to use them. Yeah, because after, because once you, once you, well, spoilers for a game everyone knows about, well, like the back of their hand. Once you become come to adult age, you don't. You're too old to be playing with those kinds of children's toys. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Children's toys that can cut pieces of string. Like a, it's a sharp boomerang. How apparently. inconsiderate! Sorry. How could you leave me behind? If you're a man, act like one. Take responsibility. Ugh. And then, uh, and Princess then... Rudo, ang angering, angering feminists <laughs> everywhere. <sighs> this red slimy thing is gone. That must mean because you cut the red tail. Will that work with the other ones, too? Spoiler warnings, yes, it will. And um, I wanted to say this while Celia was fighting the first one. I've seen scarier inside Dexter. Jeez. That, yeah. The, Wait, the, ones in the, one in, the one inside Dexter's Escape. body... It, yeah, and from Ape Escape. Um, the ones in those the, those games have... Well, they're a lot more vicious, for one thing, and they have spikes on them. Yeah. I totally just broke the game. Yeah, she Oh my gosh, you did! Look at that. Uh, <laughs> it really goes to show that how OP Deku Nuts really are in the grand scheme of things. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, and I remember taking them for granted. I never used them when I played them when I was a kid, but they're so useful. Honestly, see Lee, same here, because I, like, for the f for the few times I actually did beat this game, I honestly forgot that the Deku Nuts were still in my inventory. They I, uh, surprisingly useful. I'm going to, first off, before I say the thing I was thinking of, hi, how are you, how are you doing over there in the cheap sheets? Doing good. That's good. Sorry, there wasn't like I know I know there was like a bit of a pause there. Like, did, would you be okay if they ported Ocarina in Time 3DS to Switch, perhaps with a you know higher texture resolution or whatever? I guess. Okay. okay. I mean, if I had if I had things my way though, I honestly think they should just go like the whole remake this game off of um, off the framework that was established in uh, Breath of the Wild and see where that goes. I mean, I uh, could. Real quick, I just yeah. wanted to say before I forget, you know how one of those warm things ran into me and it and it just kind of died after that. Yes. Yeah. That was Ruto's doing. Oh, uh, like I, like ah. I said, she can touch Ruto. Sorry. Any monster that touch Ruto dies. Yeah, like I said, she can't be used as a projectile. Yeah. Which, Poor I mean, when you think when you think about it, that does that is still pretty plenty useful. She yeah. did. She asked for none of this. <laughs> Imagine the scar she must have on her after all said and done. After being thrown yeah. into the Do you sessions. see what they did to me? I heard <laughs> my face. Anyway. My beautiful, yeah, beautiful was... face. That must feel uncomfortable. And then I um and then I was gonna say that yeah, I learned Deku Nuts are actually pretty versatile. Like, for instance, uh, I learned that through the through our, my experimentation with the randomizer that Deku Nuts can be used to instantly make a, any ghost visible. Really? Yep. Like if that like yep. if the Poe does that move where they like turn invisible on you, if you throw a Deku Nut, it immediately forces them to well, be vulnerable again. It doesn't work on the Composer Brothers though. Mm. Oh, yeah. So only for so only like the fire ghosts. Oh well. On, in essence, it's oh, not that much. Not, honestly, it's not that far removed from how, from flashlight lo flashlight logic. I'm, I'm sorry, James. What did you say? Uh, it's not it's that not much that... different. It's not that much different from flashlight logic in Luigi's Mansion. That's right. what I wanted this meant to say. Oh yeah, you just flash them once For and they some reason, it won't work on the computer. Which again, uh, pretty much works on the same logic. Because technically, in Luigi's Mansion, the flashlight really only stunned stunned ghosts. Although the stunned the modern like the fodder ghosts. Like for sake of like the like the bigger like the bigger more authentic like organic ghosts, you have to you have to pretty much you pretty much have to expose their hearts first before you can flash right. them. Right, and then the heart can get the, the weird thing is, it doesn't work on the composer brothers. It does work on the post sisters. Uh, I guess yes. It, Different coding, as far as I know. I consider the Poe sisters to be more like mini bosses as opposed to normal Actually, bosses. I will say, is if there's really any real benefit to the boomerang, it's re it's primarily your your tool for collecting uh, gold sculpture gold sculpture tokens with uh, Young Link. Yep. yep. Otherwise, also, that's about it. Also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the shape of the map kind of looks like a, a metallic duck. Quack. It does. <laughs> oh my god! It oh, does. I I oh. hate. I hated this part. That's it! That's what I've been looking for! Throw me up there! Onto the platform! Get down. Get you're off kicking, of me, please. You're kicking my face! She really would be. She... <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Hold the phone. Princess Ruto got the spare just home. But why Princess Ruto? Get out because of here. Because it's her property, technically. Oh my goodness! I finally found my mother's stone! 
Nothing can happen. I got wrong very now. upset when Lord Jabble Jabble swallowed it. While I was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was super surprised that I dropped it inside. Oh, so you but now that I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. Oh, so she lied about going inside his stomach all the so time. So take me home right now. Oh, Baby. Even well, all right. Even I'll take her home. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. That don't look good. Actually, it's a squid, but... Yeah. Same yeah. difference! Yeah, this... Yeah, I don't like this mini-boss. It's easy to... It's easy to break. It is? Well, we learned about it, so here's yeah, how Seely breaks it. Watch closely. Anytime now. Oh... You know what? One hit kill. In, hinds in hindsight, I really should have thought of doing that. In what? Oh, God. Yeah, that the deck stick is, really is broken. Oh yeah, no, the Deku Stick Jump Attack is probably the strongest attack you have until you get, like, a better sword. Yep. Naturally. But, um... Yeah, That'll that's that. Do. I, I, afraid, I got lucky there because I could've hit his face. I, I mean, I could've hit him and he could've exposed his face first instead of his rear end. Yeah, I mean, that's that's kind of like the... That, that's one of those luck of the draw sort of things. Yep. Oh, that's right. Did I also forget to mention that in the in the Master Quest ver version of uh, Job Job's Belly, you'll f occasionally find cows literally embedded in the wall? It's creepy. Yeah, it's disturbing. He, he what's, just eat, what's the point yeah. of that exactly? Uh, the I fact that he eat, the fact that he eats there. cows, and I guess he just has bad digestive digestive systems. Who knows, it, knows the texture didn't load properly there? Oh yeah, I guess not. Who in their freaking right would think it's a good idea to bring cows near a giant fish? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. It was the best and easiest way to dispose of. <laughs> In hindsight, the economy just couldn't quite sustain such a so, full regimen. So wait, is the current logic we're the current canon we're going with is that Zor's domain used to be for for the cows, and then suddenly the the fish people came and took their land and ate them. <laughs> I mean, we did. Have you tried swimming in water that cows have swam in minutes before? Uh, Wet I mean, cows I do not I can smell understand good. pigs, but cows? Have, I know pigs can swim. Have well. you ever actually, and I mean this with full sincerity because I had to do it once when I was in Boy Scouts and was on a farm, have you ever smelled a wet cow? Uh, no, but I'd imagine it smells worse than the wet dog. The cow's gotta go somewhere. And if it's not gonna be out in the open air. It's gotta go in the fish. Oh. I don't know why I just made this sound like it was like an advertisement, like PSA, a net, like a PSA poster <laughs> from King Zor, like, the cow's gotta go somewhere. It's gotta go in the fish. <laughs> I don't know why that sounded so funny. This sounds so, like, natural, down to earth. It's, he, it's, he's not arguing with absurd. you. He's, he's not arguing with you. He's just giving you a nice, calm, logical argument of the cow's gotta go somewhere. I'm so sorry, <laughs> but I just suddenly just remembered that one throwaway scene from Monsters, Inc., where um, in the locker room they were just, just they were just, just like they needed you know they obviously need to prepare the, prepare them freshen themselves up for the job and they have all those th those flavorful um, scents of um, deodorant and one of them was a wet was a wet dog or old dumpster I can imagine oh, one right. of the more one of the one of the rarer flavors is probably wet cow oh yeah. a, a, a wonderfully aged brand anyway. to them it's to them it's <laughs> to them it's literally like a thousand dollar perfume jeez. <laughs> so in short, of, so yes, in short, what, what are you, we even talking about? In anymore? short, what you can take away from this is Lake Hylia is filled with kings or butt water, and monsters use wet cow perfume. This has been your public service announcement from James Man Extreme. I think you just gave me the title for this one. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. Till next time. Bye bye. And that's it for our TED talk.